Hello everyone and it is time yet again for your favorite show on a Tuesday which is Generation C. I hope you are as excited as I am because we are kicking off the year with our very first episode. My name is Marisol Stoffberg and we have so many exciting things lined up for you. The aim of this show is specifically to give you an idea of what is in our The Zone publication which is the perfect grab for a Tuesday in the Namibian sun. Republikain and Algemeine Zeitung. And we also have a very exciting interview lined up for you with the young and upcoming and innovative Lothario Smith, who is a 17-year-old game developer. But before we jump right into the action, please uh, watch the following video. Gives you more idea of what my zone, which is the youth brand of Namibia Media Holdings, is all about. So Other Zone, which is out today, and I have to remind you that this is the copy you want to grab. Uh, we have so many exciting stories lined up for you, so I'm just going to highlight a few of them. As mentioned, we have on our front page featured Lothario Smith, who is the game developer. He developed his very own game called High Diving. Um, and the cool thing about the app, um, the game that he developed, is that you actually turn your phone and that makes your character move. Uh, he is also part of a very great team and they have a bunch of projects lined up for you. But if you want to read more about him, please grab yourself that copy. Also, uh, we have on our page three, a very sad story about uh, the Jeche van der Waal school in Okahanya, whose school hall burned down um, in December. So uh, they, one of their learners uh, wrote a story to us about what happened that day and also the renovation process that will be taking place, but also some of the challenges that the school is experiencing with this. This week for our feature, we also have a very important feature regarding what education will look like in 2021 based on uh, different platforms and programs that the Ministry of Education, Arts and Culture has lined up to ensure that both learners and teachers are evaluated to see what the level of um, the standard is that they are entering into the schools once they open on 26 January. And they also emphasize that um, the reopening of schools will remain an utmost priority and will take place on 26 January. Um, so for them to um, extend the opening of schools, um, that would only be a last resort of the ministry. Uh, so please grab yourself that copy and also see about the World Health Organization's checklist and what should be in place in our schools before they are allowed to open to ensure they remain safe for both our teachers and for our different learners. But as usual, we also have our Afrikaans page. And this week, we have the exciting story about the wonderful Penny Campbell. Um, she is um, just grade 12, but she has been the first um, uh, development instructor, which is female registered in the country, which is a massive achievement. She shares some of her stories where um, everything started for her with chess um, and also what she thinks of the new Queen's Gambit, um, the series about um, Beth, uh, who is also a chess player. But um, I'm not going to be talking all about it. I have a video ready for you all the way from um, Stamprit. Uh, so please watch the following video of Penny and she shares some of her exciting moments. Hello, I am Penny Gamble and I am a grade 12 learning by Privatskule Anatan. Ek het van skaak begin hou, die oomlik toe ek wel van klein tijd af het my ma vir my die basisse goeders van skaak geleer, soos hoe my boord te pak en hoe my stikke uit te skuif. Maar waar ek my ware liefde vir skaak gekry het, was toe ons skaak onderwijser meneer Jaku Skitte, die jaar by die school aangekom het en vir ons gewys het dat jy verder kan gaan met die skaak as net by privaatskool en naweke skaak kan speel. Hy het vir ons na competities oorhal in, in, in die landvisies geneem om te kan deelneem en om dan te kwalificeer om in die nationale kampioen of wel na, nationale toernooi te kan speel om dan nou net bykie anders, iets anders te doen as net by privaatskool en naweke te speel. En ek het myself net sowel as die 
die skaakonderwijser en die school net so wel ver, verbaas, toe ek daar jaar die eerste plek vat het in 2018 met die onder 16 meisies kategorie in die skaak. En ek het van skaak begin hou van die dag af om rede, wel ek het uitgevind, ek kan ander plekke sien met die skaak en hoe beter ek word in die skaak, hoe beter is het vir my om ander plekke te sien en ek is lief daarvoor om rond te toe, dit is vir my baie lekker om ander lande en ander plekke te sien en hoe hulle goeders werk, so dit was vir my, dit is waar ek my liefde vir die skaak gekry het en die dat ek nou die eerste DI, die development instructor is, die eerste vrouwelijke development instructor in Namibia is, om die waarheid te sê, ek het dit eindelijk nie verwacht nie, want Ek het nie geweet, ek is die enigste Namibiese vrou wat toe nou met die seminar wat dit nou aangebied was, was ek die enigste Namibiese meisie wat toe nou daar was om dit nou deel te neem en sikke goeders. En dit was baie interessant die seminar en hoe die goeders aangebied was, want jy het een klomp klasse gekry van klomp grandmasters wat nou hulle loop aan en skaak nou al soort van meer voltooi het en nog steeds speel, maar hulle weet nou al baie meer van die skaak as wat ons doen en hulle het vir ons lesse en so aangebied en vir ons meer vertel oor hoe om sekere goeders te doen en hoe om een beter, nou, want dit was nou een africhtingskursus geweest, hoe om dan nou beter africhting te gee en hoe om beter te wees hoe jy studenten kan verbeter en so en dit was baie lekker en interessant geweest. en aan die einde van die kursus het ons examen geskryf en toe ek so paar weke terug na die uitslag gekry het en uitgevind het wel ek het geslaag, was dit vir my soort van soos een skok gewees, want ek het dit gedoen vir die pret en om meer te leer, maar ek het nie eindelijk werkelijk gedink ek sal slaag nie. En toe ek nou geslaag het en die, om nou die eerste DI te wees, eerste vrouwelijke DI in my beet te wees, was dit, en dit was lekker gewees om uit te vind dat my harde werk het, toe nou op die ouwe van die dag het het toe nou, wel gewerk, as ek het so kan stel, maar dit was interessant en op groot skok gewees, maar ek is blij ek kan dit nou doen, want nou kan ek by die school, kan ek nou die ander mense, die ander kinders wat graag verder wil gaan in die skaak, soos wat ek nou met die skaak aangegaan het, kan ek nou vir hulle help, so dit was eindelijk min of meer die motief achter dit om dan nou die kursus, om nou aan die kursus deel te neem, so dat ek die ander mense en die ander kinders wat graag verder wil gaan met die skaak, ook te kan help. Dankie. And our last story that we will be highlighting in today's show is of course our wonderful star teacher for the week. This week our star teacher is Jevro Elaine de Klerk, all the way from Pampanias Park um, Primary School. She has been in the teaching industry for more than 32 years, which is an incredible achievement and milestone. Um, she is extremely passionate about her learners and for her education is not just something that ends in the classroom. She believes in equipping learners with skills to help them for the rest of their lives but she also wants to ensure that her learners are always taken care of. So we also have a video um, that she sent us um, just explaining why she loves teaching, where everything started, and why she loves her learners so much. I am Elaine de Klerk, and I became a teacher to make a difference in the children's lives. Teaching makes every day different and unique. It is a passion to work with children and to use my sense of humor to thrive to find ways to make a difference in a child's lives. I love organizing and help children to the best of my abilities. It is important to know I can make a difference in the lives of the, my fellow teachers and I'm very positive and if you're enthusiastic. I have a deep passion in helping adults. If I make it my um, priority to keep open lines of communication to my parents and um, on WhatsApp and Google Teams uh, and this is also a great help. I also learn from my teachers to stay humble and never to try to be somebody else. Always, I always try to do my best and, and to know it is enough. I have the ability to motivate the people uh, that's surrounding me and I have an open heart and I will always make time to listen to others and to help to the best of my abilities. Um, I am 32 years a teacher, a grade one teacher, and I, I started in 1996 
at Papi and I am at HUD Day. I learned that teaching is a journey and not a destination, and I enjoy every moment of this journey. Thank you. It is because of teachers like Efe Elaine de Klerk that we know our kids are in good hands and that they have teachers um, who are dedicated towards them, their safety and their education. But um, as we are speaking of the future, which is our youth, we have our interview next lined up for you with the wonderful Lothario, uh, who is a game developer. Uh, so let's hear what he has to say. Hello everyone and welcome back to our very first episode of Generation C. It's Tuesday, meaning that it is time for us to share some exciting youth news. I am very excited and privileged because with me today is the 17-year-old Lothario Smith and he is a game developer and as you can see on our screen here is the teaser for his very own game that he developed called High Diving. Lothario, thank you so much for joining us in studio. It really is amazing to be in the presence of such a young, vibrant mind um, that you have. So thank you for making time for joining us. Thank you, thank you. So Lothario, let's start from the beginning. Can you tell us where everything started for you with developing games and why you love developing games so much? I would say it first started in 2018 when I first learn C++ to make simple programs on for computers. Yeah. I then later moved on to Python to develop data web apps. Uh, I did partial game development on Python and I did a bit of desktop applications. Yeah. From there on I moved on to Unity and learn C sharp because it requires C sharp as the scripting backend. Yeah. Um, a lot of the skills that you have, you taught yourself. So for me, it, it sounds like Greek, <laughs> but you uh -huh. understand the language of game developing. How does one go about to teach yourself these things that are so, it's intricate. It's not just me learning how to ride a bike. It's, it's a lot more complicated <laughs> than that. Well, it's not, that difficult as it seems it's just basically like math you know if you practice and practice and practice you soon become good at it yeah so i would say in my opinion programming is just basically english okay you it's just um giving s uh, steps um to have an outcome at the end yeah for example um a calculator app um, you would create a function just to add two numbers, just like how you would do math. One exactly. plus one equals two. Okay. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think what's amazing for me is the fact that your game is also um, available on the app stores um, and on Google Play. And I think it's, how does it feel to know that other people can go on Google Play and they can download your game and play that on their phones? Well, I feel like I achieved something because I haven't heard of any Namibians that have dropped a game in mm -hmm. Namibia, but I have heard applications dropped in Namibia. Yeah. So I don't really feel proud of myself. I just want to give back to my community because yeah. our community deserves more. Definitely. That's why I also want to create more jobs for people in this industry. Yeah. The technology industry and the game development industry. Um, quickly tell us a bit more about high diving, the game itself. What, what is the game about? What's the object of the game and where did you get the idea for high diving? High diving is a gyroscope ba based game. So basically you tilt your desire to move the player. Oh, wow. Um, there's also other features like 
increasing the altitude of the player, buying characters, buying more skins. It's soon to be a multiplayer mode. Oh, wow. Um, that's currently 60% done, so we will might release it next month, me and my team. Um, high diving started in August with production and we finished November with the Android version and the iOS version finished in December, early December. Oh, so you have a whole team working with you. Um, but you also mentioned to me a bit earlier that you want to register that team as well so it can become kind of like a company. Yes. Can you tell us a bit more about the team that you have and also what are some of your plans going forward? Okay, I'll, I'll name them all. <laughs> so yeah, it's a yeah. shout out yeah. to you guys. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so, uh, so we have three board members. Like, It's uh, basically a partnership right yeah. now. So we have in the board uh, me, Lothario mm -hmm. Smith, Bradley, um, he is basically in charge of the marketing and so on, and the head of graphics, uh, Paul White. Okay. And then the others are just um, employees, basically. Um, so we have Charlie, mm -hmm. Alufu, um, Samkelo. David Birkus. So it's kind of a, 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 a mixed team that you have. You also mentioned age-wise. Yeah. You have younger members and a bit older members. So I yes. think it's cool to see the diversity within your team as well. Yes. Um, and what can we expect from this fly team um, in the future? You mentioned to me some projects that you have that you'd want to start running um, mm. and also new games that we can expect from you guys. So me and my team uh, are currently working on other games as well as the game that's out high diving. So far we are 10% done with one of the games and the others still need to start with production but for us to start with production we need the right funding mm. which will soon to come. Um, and these games will be released on the PS5 the Xbox Series X, latest Nintendo devices, and PC. Wow. So you guys are you're just doing the most, hey? <laughs> <laughs> um, can you tell me what would your message be to other game developers out there? Because um, also when we spoke um, about uh, how a lot of young people have ideas and you have things you want to accomplish, but you're not sure, will I be able to make this work? And you... You've shown us that if you have a dream and you focus, you can get mm -hmm. there. So what would your message be to those other tech-savvy <laughs> dudes and dudesses out there? I advise them just to, to keep being motivated no matter what. I know things might become tough. You might not see results, but just believe in yourself because you might never know what the result might be out mm. of all the work you put in because you know what is life without risk yeah like if Steve Jobs for example did not take the risk we wanted to have iPhones and look how popular iPhones are MacBooks iPads for example yeah I'm um, sorry I think it is amazing to see what you've accomplished and I am very excited to see where you will be heading mm -hmm. so thank you for taking time out to be with us today um, make sure you visit the Play Store and um, you go get the game because it is amazing and you would like to have it you need to have it it's a, it has to become a part of your life and we need to support our local game developers within the country so thank you so much thank and you. all the best <laughs> to you and your team and next up, we have the teaser video we are going to be playing for you with sound so you can see um, and kind of just tease you on the amazingness that is high diving. Soldier, this isn't a game. Your task, should you accept, is to defeat the boss. Gear up. Let's go. We're approaching the drop zone. Get ready. Go, go, go. Heisenberg, blip on your six. Evasive maneuvers. 
Stay alert. Make your way through different skies in hopes of reaching the big bad boss. It's now or never. Smoke him. So unfortunately, that brings us to the end of our very first show uh, for the year 2021, which is the year of amazing things. So please make sure that you stay tuned to the platforms of MyZone for your latest youth news. And if you have anything you would like to share or anything you would like to us to focus on, please give us either a DM on Instagram or send us a message on Facebook. Uh, we also want to remind you that it's important for us to stay safe um, during these times. So also remember that you are an exceptional human being and you deserve just the best. So enjoy the rest of your week and um, join us again um, next week, same time, same place.